Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about how to find a profitable niche for you to build an Amazon affiliate website around. Uh, so to start off, I like to uh, come to eBay because they have a huge list of categories that help me think about all the different niches that are available out there. And I can choose one and then take it to the keyword tool and see if it's going to be profitable or not. Um, so let's say let's go with computers and networking so if you just put, p click the more button you get tons of these uh, smaller niches that we can kind of uh, dive into let's look at drives and storage now this is going to be have a lot of different uh, hard drives external hard drives probably CDs uh, DVD ROMs and stuff um, but here we have looks like an external hard drive a two terabyte external hard drive Western Digital DVD DVR expander external hard drive so let's see uh, I know that one terabyte hard drives are pretty popular these days so let's check that out let's see if that would be a good niche to get into uh, so you need to come to the Google AdWords keyword tool where you can do some research and I'll put in here um, one TV external hard drive now we enter the CAPTCHA and get keyword ideas. Oh, I messed up. U D. Okay. Here we go. All right now, so it gives you th all this, all this search data. It can be kind of overwhelming at first, but we'll we'll take you through it. So it looks like here, one TB external hard drive gets 135,000 searches per month. Now that seems like a lot, and it is. It's because of the match type right here is set on broad. We want it to be exact. That makes it a little bit more manageable, a little bit more believable. Um, let's explain the match types real quick. So a broad match type, like the one that we had it set on, where the, the search volume was 135,000, uh, here's the rules for the broad, broad match. If you put in tennis shoes, it says, then you'll then you'll get uh, it'll blah, blah. if you put in tennis shoes, then you'll get a lot of different kinds of search queries included in that number, that 135,000, like tennis and shoes and buy tennis shoes, tennis shoe photos, running shoes, tennis sneakers, etc. Uh, so that's why we want to avoid that because it's not very precise. Next is phrase match, which is better. It'll take the tennis shoes phrase and place it throughout another different set of keywords. So instead of taking just tennis or just shoes, it'll say red tennis shoes, buy tennis shoes, tennis shoes photo. It's never going to mix those words up. And exact is how many times this exact keyword was searched for. It's not going to show variations of it at all. So that's why we use exact because we want to know how many times this exact keyword is searched for in any given month and we want to focus on the local search volume so for last month October it says that it was searched for 14,800 times an estimate well, that's a lot that's a lot of searches we also want to look at <coughs> the trends as you can see here the trend is going up now probably the trends going up because it's getting closer to Christmas time and people are going to be buying this product for Christmas and this would be a great time perhaps to set up a website about that so that's my basic um, process for picking out good keywords you go to eBay look around on the categories and maybe choose a category you get an idea audiobooks look through here you get tons of ideas. You can copy and paste, or if you get an idea, you just come over here and, s and paste it in. And then do a search. Make sure that you have it on exact. Make sure you take a look at the trends. Oh, I just took, took it off. Make sure you look at the trends. And then start compiling a spreadsheet with all the potential keywords you, you want to find. Um, one more parameter that you want to make sure you, you include you want to make sure that it is at least a thousand searches per month and you want to make sure that it is at least three words long 
So this one, we're going to include the one and the TB as words. Make sure that it's at least three words long. If it's two words, you're probably going to have a, a whole lot of competition. So three, three words or longer, you're going to be able to rank for easier with your website. So go through that process a few times. Um, make a spreadsheet. Go for 20, 30 keywords or so. And then we'll move on to the next step. Thanks for watching.